my wife really struggled to want to come along and support me on that first deal, but she did. And when we moved into the upstairs, the three bedrooms and one bath, we were able to rent out a separate unit in the basement. And the basement was enough money to cover the mortgage. And all of a sudden, my wife like, became excited about what we were doing because we eliminated our biggest expense. A year later, I went to the bank and said, hey, I need to pull out some of the equity. The, the house was worth now like $150,000. I paid $110,000 for it. The bank said, hey, we'll give you a $20,000 line of credit. I'm like, great. I got the line of credit. I used it to buy a second property. That one I rented out completely and made $600 a month. So just think about that for a moment. Living for free and then getting paid $600 a month on the second house, that was huge. Because it made sense, my wife got really excited. She says, Chris, we can do this again and again. So I got a third house and a fifth house and a tenth house, and I just kept on going. In time, though, I didn't even need my own money because now I had a more valuable asset than money. I had a track record. And so my father-in-law decided to invest with me. And then strangers, like other people that have been watching my success, started to do that. And it's now snowballed into this thing where it used to be 12,000 a month, then it became 20,000 a month, then it became 100,000 a month. Now I have excess of a million dollars a month. The number just keeps on going up. That's the cyclone of wealth that I'm talking about that I teach you right here in my book, Have It All.